I hate to see this message out there that the white man is the reason why blacks are doing bad. No, it's the elected leaders that are representing those communities that are not serving those communities. My name is Misha Maynard and this is my story. I am a single mom of two beautiful girls, Alexis and Chloe, and I am also the state representative for the best district in the entire state of Georgia. I was born and raised in Atlanta in an area that's blighted. Drugs, crime took over. You know, I tell people when I would get off of the school bus, I literally would run home from crackheads. From there, though, my mom moved me to a district where the schools were performing better, and that was my version of school choice. So that kind of really spearheaded just my whole concept of why a child needs resources to get out of, you know, situations that they may be in. I am one of the lucky ones. I went to Howard University graduated with my master's in physical therapy. It is truly one of the best professions. I was a director of outpatient rehabilitation <laughs> at a hospital. Politics was not a conversation. This was nothing that I was thinking about. Long story short, I was skiing in Utah with my kids and my mom called me and said the city council person died. And it was a fleeting thought, I'm gonna run for office. I figure out how you run for office, I'm actually the very last person to put in my qualifying fee. People would ask me, what's your platform? I did not know what a platform was. I literally did not know anything about politics. And what I told them at each occurrence was, look, I've never been in politics, but I can solve problems. That's what I do as a physical therapist. That's what I do as a mom. I had a successful daycare. If you have a problem and you come to me, I can fix it, and at least try my best. And if I can't fix it, I'll find someone else that can fix it for you. So I did not win that race, did do well, but at that moment, I thought to myself, this is why you ran for city council. It wasn't to win city council, it was to get you right to this point, and you're gonna run for state house. And I was convicted in that from that point forward, and here I am today. Growing up, everyone in my family, even now, they're Democrats. And so I ran as a Democrat initially when I won my race. I campaigned on educational options for children. I campaigned on putting people over systems and politics. I campaigned on public safety. Now, when I won, this was also in the middle of COVID. And there was a huge defund the police movement. And I was the only Democrat really running on, no, we do not need to defund the police. I was also the only Democrat running on school choice and parent choice. I've only been in office for three years, but I am extremely disappointed in what I have seen. My first year in office, I was up there till four o'clock in the morning reading through the legislation to see what I was voting on, not realizing that other people weren't doing that. You know, the very first bill was a special needs scholarship bill. And the Democrats were against the special needs scholarship bill. I don't know why they voted <laughs> against it. And my charge to them was children with special needs are special. And that was the first time that I voted against the Democrats. I just knew that I was not gonna vote for things just because someone told me to because it was a party decision. I wanted to vote for things that actually impacted people in a positive way. And I continued to vote against them many times. Fast forward a few months, the Democrats started coming on my social media again, attacking me about school choice. And I did some self-reflection and it was like, you know what, Misha, they have the right to be mad at you. These are their positions and you don't agree with any of their <laughs> positions. It's like, okay, well, maybe you're not a Democrat. If your position is you don't want to keep communities safe, if your position is it's okay for kids to be in schools where 97% can't read, I don't wanna be a part of any group that feels that way. 
I have switched parties recently. I was a Democrat loyalist. I had no idea that these were ideals that the Democrats didn't believe in. There are millions of people that are Democrats, registered Democrats, because that's all we know, because that's just what we're supposed to be. I know that no party is perfect. I know that one party does not have all the answers, but I do know that the priorities that Black inner city communities need, the Republicans are fighting for those issues, not the Democrats. This has been a challenge for Democrats. <laughs> this switch has not been a challenge for me. The day that I switched, my phone started ringing. Text messages, emails, constituents saying, I'm still voting for you. Um, I don't care what letter is next to your name, I'm still voting for you. At the end of the day, people need help. And I think that my constituents recognize that I really am just trying to help. Now online, I've received, you know, some really serious racial attacks. There have been death threats um, for switching parties, but these are people that are not in my community. These are Democrat loyalists, and they actually have no idea what they're voting for. <laughs> I really think Black people need to be asking themselves what has happened since the civil rights movement. Black people have not received anything from the Democrat Party since that time. I hate to see this message out there that the white man is the reason why Blacks are doing bad, Republicans are the reason that Blacks are doing bad. No, it's the elected leaders that are representing those communities that are not serving those communities. Politics is all about fear. If you can tell someone something and make them very emotional with their vote or fearful when they're voting, then they have their vote. I hope I'm able to show a group of people um, the truth. My platform stays the exact same. I am the exact same person. I am still a Christian listening to the Holy Spirit within me. I am still a single mom. Nothing changes except now I'm with the party that supports my community. Thank you for watching this video provided by PragerU. They are run solely by donations. Please consider contributing to their cause.